Where I'm going to focus instead with you is this relatively innocuous landmark called the posterior rib angle. Posterior rib angle is where the rib changes from its horizontal alignment to its downwardly sloping anterior position. It is the most posterior aspect of the rib cage. Clinically, this is very significant for us. This is the posterior rib angle. It comes up right under the medial border of the rib cage, uh, medial border of the scapula. So let's look at its relationship to the scapula. Michelle, I'll have you turn the lights on again. I'm your mother. Sit up straight. Pull your scapula back to your spine. Pull it forward. Pull it back to your spine. Can't get it all the way back to your spine. See me during break. Pull it forward again, and stay right there. I told you just to move your scapula. What else did you move? Okay, your spine, your whole shoulder, your head, and if you were standing like me, you would also be moving your pelvis. So one of the things that we've got to talk about is the fact that the scapula cannot move without moving the base. That's why it's hard to say something is in relationship to the scapula because the scapula is constantly moving. So when we're looking at the scapula, how many of you have complained that your patient has winging scapula? Okay, that's like everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's grab kinesio tape and let's tape all those down. It's never the scapula's fault. Quit blaming the scapula. When I see winging or protracted scapula, the first thing I'm looking for are tight hamstrings. That's going to be the first thing I rule out. It's a game of Jenga. If you don't start at the bottom of the tower, you're never going to get it straight. 